Good morning, family. How you doing? This is your brother, Brian Mayor. Deez, peace to you, peace to your home, peace to your family, peace to your ancestry, peace to your community, peace to my community, peace to my ancestry, peace to the nation that you, I, and they are creating. Peace also to the Gothic forces, to the great spirit above, to the mother earth below. Peace to all y'all. How y'all doing? Yo, mm, mm, mm. when I say good morning, I mean that. I just got up about 30-something minutes ago. Um, was listening to this video. Uh, I actually do this on a regular when I get up. I'm listening to videos, listening to you know information um, that I'm getting offline, <clears throat> or should I say online? But I was listening to this video. Part of me just uh, had something to eat. Uh, it's called the top ten African tribes taken in the Atlantic slave trade, and uh, this. This is an interesting video. Every African in this hemisphere needs to see this video. I'm not joking. A, the, uh, uh, the brother who put it together, he essentially compiled what many other scholars have talked about. Um, I have heard and I wish he kind of went into this because there's there's incredible information on this. I was watching years ago. This is you know 13 years ago now. I was watching a video on um, the History Channel, and it's funny, you know, History Channel today is is a joke to everybody. But back in the 90s, it literally lived up to its um to its name, and it carried that into the first decade of this new century. So I was watching a video that was originally um, created and published, I want to say the mid-90s, might have been the late 90s. And um, one of the black scholars who was talking on this video talked about how um, enslavers, European enslavers, were not stupid when they went in to grab Africans. They would go in, they, they did these studies of, I mean, they were basic studies of the cultures and some of the techniques, which I, I guess, you know, they wouldn't have to do them overtly. You know, once you start taking human beings, you start to see what they could do immediately, you know. But they were doing these studies on what these people, their cultural ancestry did. You know, one group might do woodworking, and be incredible craftsmen. Another group would do um, agriculture and be incredible agriculturalists. Another group, you know, may may do shipbuilding and some other stuff. But they knew this information. So, especially like in the South, where they would be doing um, agriculture, they would say, "We want we want slaves from groups that are more proficient in agriculture." Or we need groups with big, strong men uh, who can clear off brush and all this other stuff that we don't really want to do. And so these slavers would then go back to Africa and kidnap specific people fitting these descriptions. This brother who created this video essentially took that information and put it together and created a video which stated um you know this is th these are the top 10 tribes that were taken and these these tribes did specific things he didn't talk about that part of it which i wish he had because it again europeans were not stupid but the reason why or let me say they weren't stupid about why they were taking these people they were just they weren't just going in and grabbing Africans. They knew what these Africans could do. The reason why I, I, I wanted to make this video, though, is because I want you to understand, particularly black folks living in the United States of America, but really black folks living everywhere, because we are really one people. And... 
this the brother on this video mentions that he had an ancestor uh, um a dna test done which linked him to specific tribes in africa which means europeans have genetic signatures for all african tribes or just about all african tribes and that means europeans have an ability to uh genetically tag you when you do these 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 dna tests i'm never doing a dna test I will not do a DNA test. And the reason why I won't do a DNA test, I get why people do it. But the reason why I won't do a DNA test is because prophecy. Europeans know because of the information which they have stolen. You know, one of the things that people don't talk about is um, the amount of uh, temples and stuff that the Europeans have, uh, have uh, ravaged after uh, they had enslaved people. Because there are temples and stuff that they took that Africans built all over the world with sacred information in it in order to continue their, their worship practices. And the Europeans, when they killed off or they would war with these Africans, these free men, would take their stuff. And what they know is that there are certain genetic combinations which are threats to them. They're not sure which ones. But they are t they're kind of stabbing at the dark right now because they know that their era of rulership is ending. 2020 marks it's over for the European. They will not rule again. They will not be in a position of rulership. This is why their women are moving into being um, with black men, why the white men are moving into being with anybody else but white women. And you're going to see this increase. But they are trying to cut off the connectivity between black people in the hemisphere and black people on the ground in Africa. That's why they're, to, this is why Africom's coming into existence. They need Africom because every time when there is a ritual done and they, they know that there's a bunch of them coming up in the 2020, the 2020, the 2030s, the 2040s and the 2050s with those tribes over in Africa, every time, when they are in harmony and they're doing these rituals, it impacts American Africans, Africans all throughout this hemisphere. And we do things and then it goes back and it impacts them in Africa. And they know this. And they know this. So they're trying to, they're, they want to identify where those streams are so that they can then circle and circle them and try to stop them from being influenced by their brethren and sister. So the 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 message in all this, uh, the message in all this is that the European has the power to actually bring peace upon this planet, and that's that's the craziest part to me. That's what the ancestors tell me is that they uh they have the power to bring peace upon this planet because they know genetically they know genetically one that we are not the same they know genetically we aren't the same that's why they're so afraid of us two they know where um africans were sent they know where africans come from they're starting to have broader ideas they have done the research they've had research on the people that were taken for at least two decades now going now almost three I'm going to imagine that this is nothing new. They probably had it for a couple of centuries. Meaning, <clears throat> they know what percentage of us are really African and are more American. They know this. And yet, instead of writing books, putting this information out so that we can be whole as a people, Instead of writing books exposing their own uh, degraded attitudes and what have you, they won't do it. And that tells you a lot about them. That tells you a lot about them. They know who we are. We, we are a trinity people. 
And that's what we don't know. You know, you it's not it's not specifically, even though it is it's good to have a connection, um, an idea of where your strands come from, not a connection, but an idea of where your strands go come from. But <clears throat> the we as Africans have to realize we we live in, in this country that our dual consciousness, as W. E. B. Du Bois talked about, isn't what we are making it. It's not what we're making it. It's actually very powerful, and we need to be utilizing it. It's not about having loyalty to our ancestry and loyalty to this failing, fledgling Anglo-Saxon order. It ain't about that. It is, it's far greater. And we need to now understand that because we are a Trinity people. We are a Trinity people. And once when we realize that, once when we spot that, once when we understand the connectivity of um, a set, a SAR in Haru. I know there's there's correlation in Voodoo also. I don't know that one as well as I know that. There's also a correlation which starts um, with Native Americans, which uh, needs to be spoken about. But once when we understand that that Aset, Asar, and Haru makes makes the world a difference, and it depends on where you can originally plant your your uh, your feet at. So if I know everybody came from Africa. But if you wore, if your your predominant, uh, if your people weren't in weren't brought over here, I'm trying to figure out how to actually explain this because it's a, it's, we all know about Mother Africa. Some of us were enslaved, uh, and we were brought over here. But then there were the people who were already here, and if you were already here, when the uh, Europeans came here, then your motherland is here. And there's a lot of us who, who have that. Now, if you, your prominent strands were brought here, then your motherland is Africa. And it's the Haru portion of that, which is the dynamic which we are now creating. And this is why we're why they're doing all this crap with rap and all that because they're trying to get us. Rap for them is not R A P. It's W R A P. It's literally wrapping your mind up so you can't grow, so you can't expand. That's what rap is for them. For us, rap is like the rhythm, like you're taking the drum and you're beating the bop bop. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. You know, it's like that. That's rap for us. You know, it's do 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 That's rap. There's a message to it. And for for any any rapper who's seeing this, let me just say, man, um, I don't know if there's books. There should be books though. On the um on the African rhythm systems, the talking drums, things like that. Learn that because you're touching the soul when you learn that, when you're, when you're learning that, okay? So that's what rap for us is like that. When you, uh, when you, when you have that rhythm, when you beat that drum, when you beat those instruments, when you do those type of things, those, those, uh, rhythms uh, actually speak. And they talk to the mind, the soul, and the heart of the people. They expand outward and they touch people, not only in the general area, but they expand outward to touch people miles away. And if you hear it, it touches you. It touches your ancestry. It touches your soul. It gets you back into context and contact with your soul. And we are about that. That's what rap is to us. Rap to them is, is a limiting principle. It's a limiting state that they need to control. That's why they're so hyped about it. But they ain't going to do it. They won't do it. And to many of our brothers and sisters who are confused right now, when this sun comes up, and they know the sun's coming up, we are in the pre-dawn hours right now. And they know that. 
And they know that. That's this whole mumble rap crap. Because they're trying to get your brain scrambled so you can't hear the calling buglers. Because once when that dawn hits, right before that sun comes up, when that sun comes up, man, it's going to shatter everything. People are going to be, you're going to be able to see who is who. And if you really start to develop yourself, you will be able to see who is who, and it's going to shock you. It shocks me sometimes. It shocks me sometimes. And and and, and don't get a twist. A lot of these people look for salvation, man. Uh-uh. There ain't no salvation for them. No, nope, no, nope. you got to get filled with soul. That's the only way. Anyway, um, so they know. They know who we are. They know who we are. And they're afraid. So that's something that you need to deal with, something that you need to know. The rest of this information comes from the ancestors, so thank them, all right? Because I didn't expect to talk about all this. I expected to do a five-minute video. All right, guys. I'm going to eat. Peace. Oh, I apologize. Peace. This means something completely different than that.